Chapter 1, Gratis Video Distribution and the Ease of Use Pre-internet, there was a few ways to visually cipher through video content. These ways were provided by the producers of the content. With the advent of the internet, gratis video distribution became widespread, but the distribution platform lacked in ease of access until recently. Section 1, Torrenting, Points Covered Initial Press Coverage The Environment of Video Distribution Currently Present Web 1.0 Torrenting, The Process of Torrenting and torrenting culture and technical details. Casey Johnston's article published by Ars Technica and Dwight Silverman's article published on Crone were two of the first articles on the video streaming service Popcorn Time. The articles point out why Popcorn Time is distinguishing. The user interface, a step up from 1.0 torrenting style comparable to Netflix, and the substantial ease of use. One can tell the above distinguishment is a move to an easier visual medium for video streaming. The move to a visual medium seems fairly obvious. However, until Popcorn Time, no publicized application has been accessible to do easy video streaming free of charge. Torrenting has been a database-like system where one can download digital content, including videos. However, one had to be attentive to the directories in order to find content. Torrenting can be viewed as a Web 1.0 way of watching video content. Craigslist is currently the best-known website still utilizing a Web 1.0 design. Torrenting is free, but its providers utilize advertising revenue models. Users are inundated with ads while on the torrenting websites. On top of the advertisement aspect, the Web 1.0 torrent sites have other boogie traps. False torrenting links are placed around the real links, similar to Google's sponsored links, except these leads lead to malware or viruses. The torrents themselves can be uploaded by any site user, so many torrents are not the expected content. Or the real content comes with extra swag. The swag can range from digital images, samples of the video, text files, and .nfo files. The digital images are often supplementary content, like a film's poster. The sample from the video is a small video file to show the quality you will see in the full video. Text files and .nfo files can be written information about the video, uploader, privacy group, vector graphics, ASCII art, or stylography. Oftentimes, the text files have visual images via ASCII art and hidden messages via stylography. The Visual Popcorn Time application allows computer users who are not tech savvy to watch movies for free. Popcorn Time uses a YIFY torrenting infrastructure from YTS's application programming interface, API. More will be explained about the application user interface in the next annotated bibliography. Not only are you using a torrenting infrastructure, but you are also able to get the torrent files without all the odds and ends with the Web 1.0 torrenting sites. Figure 1. Piece of ASCII art viewed as a text document and as a .nfo file. Figure 2. An example of a digital image, a movie poster, accompanying a video torrent file. Figure 3. Video file information shown with ASCII art. Figure 4. How a WinRAR compressed file appears when downloaded. WinRAR is used to compress videos that are being uploaded as torrents. WinRAR was a common torrenting transfer file format. Figure 5. A WinRAR decompression process. The decompression will reveal the actual content. Figure 6. A set of screenshots that can accompany a Web 1.0 torrent file. Figure 7. The torrent client uTorrents user interface with false links above the search results. This is a Squire production recording of Give Me the Remote, the story of popcorn time and the state of digital video in the Netflix era, written by Leon Haggerty. This is also the voice of Leon Haggerty. References Casey Johnson, 2014, March 11th, Popcorn Time Reinvents the CD Process of Torrenting, published on Ars Technica. Dwight Silverman, 2014, March 10th, Popcorn Time Makes Movie Piracy as Easy as Watching Netflix, Tech Block, Crone.